Hey guys, so today is my last day as a data analyst intern at the startup I've been working at. I've been here for about 12 weeks and I've loved every single minute. I made a couple other videos talking about my internship and my time here, and I'll leave some links down below if you guys wanna check them out. Basically, sometime this spring, I applied for over 350 jobs and I got a couple offers, and I decided to choose the startup and work here as an intern starting May. And in the time span of the short 12 weeks I've been here, I've learned a lot, made a lot of mistakes, and also had a lot of fun. In my first week here, I was instantly exposed to the startup culture and the drive and energy that was associated to achieving our goals. After that, I spent a lot of time looking at the company's issues and problems so that I could identify what my capstone was gonna be about. And after all that digging, I found that we had a pretty significant churn issue that was limiting our growth. Obviously, the company had a couple attempts to solve this problem, but there was no drastic or long-term success. So that's how I settled on my capstone project. So then I set up a meeting with a couple of my supervisors and data experts within my team, just to give them an idea of what I had mapped out and they really liked it. So now we're at present day and I'm presenting all this information to our founders, our engineering heads, and various other departments by the end of today's business day. Wish me luck. Anyway, it's still a regular work day, so I have a couple of meetings to attend, like the daily stand-up and another meeting with the sales team for a dashboard I'm building for them. I also have some other things to get done, like a bit more code to push this project I'm working on. And also I have to build the slides for my presentation later. So that's going to be fun. So yeah, I'll catch you guys later. Uh, hopefully I remember to bring you guys along, but uh, I, I hope you enjoyed that short update. So it's currently about 8 a.m. And I have a couple things that I need to get done before the workday starts. I have a video that I want to get out today, so I have to edit that and push that out. I also have a video that I'm scripting for the end of this week, so stay tuned for that video. I also have a couple of tickets that I want to get done uh, that involve data engineering and DBT, so that's going to be fun. I'll bring you guys along for that. I uh, also have a dashboard that I'm trying to finalize and my slides that I'm presenting later today for my caption project. So yeah, pretty hectic so far. Uh, I have a couple meetings later on, but I'm confident I should be able to get all these things done. Uh, yeah, so without further ado, let's get right into the video. just got done with uh, the daily stand-up and I have a couple things that I want to get done before my next meeting primarily my slides for the caption project so I'm gonna knock that out real quick I don't think it's gonna take too much time so uh, I'll catch you guys right back after that So my role as a data analyst intern here has a wide range of responsibilities, uh, including making dashboards, sending out reports, and even answering ad hoc tickets. However, I'm very blessed to be working in a data team that includes a lot of experts from other niches like data engineering, data science, and machine learning. So with the blessing of my superiors and also my mentors, I requested to take on additional responsibilities that allow me to expand my skill set uh, so that I can use data engineering, data science, and also machine learning in my day-to-day -day work. I also have been working very closely to one of my mentors who's a data engineer, and this has allowed me to expand my skill set and utilize things like DBT and DevOps tools like Docker and Kubernetes. Data engineering is one of the highest paying roles in the field of data, and I think uh, it should be talked about more. And I find that very interesting because the field of data engineering isn't talked much about, especially with all the hype around data science and data analytics. So I wanted to give it the attention it deserves because when I first entered the field of data, I didn't really know much about data engineering. In fact, I didn't learn much about data engineering in school or my courses. So having hands-on experience and guidance from a mentor who has been doing this for years is really amazing. And I wanted to share that with you guys. I like to emphasize this point a lot on my channel. Data science or data analytics doesn't have to be the end goal. It's just a very good field to get into because of all the hype and the demand. But after some time, if you choose to pivot to another role within the data field like data engineering or data architecture, that's very possible too. The pay is very reasonable and you would have the extra years of experience that would put you ahead. That being said, I'm currently working on updating the backend logic to our sales team data to reflect all the new changes that has been made recently. With frequent changes like this, I wanted to look at a long-term solution that will make the process of updating these tables less tedious and more efficient altogether. So I'm gonna do that right now while watching a podcast on my TV. I like to change my environment here and there because it can be quite sickening sitting on a table or a desk for eight hours a day. Also, I'm looking for more podcasts to listen to, so I'd appreciate any suggestions down in the comments below.
All right, so I managed to get all the changes done and I tested it locally in our dev environment. After the test passed, I pushed all the changes to GitLab and for some reason, the pipeline failed at the last stage. After some digging, I found out that the test did fail was completely unrelated to the changes I made. I have a theory on why it failed, but I wanna check in with my mentor before making any changes just so I don't break anything. So I got that sales meeting in a couple minutes. Uh, we're gonna talk about that dashboard I built for them. I'm pretty sure I have everything done. Uh, I just wanna go over the visual layout and make sure the uh, values are accurate and representative of what they need. This is a high stake dashboard. They're gonna use the numbers to send them up for commissions for the salespeople. So I need to make sure everything is uh, finalized and accurate before finally uh, pushing it out. So yeah, uh, enjoy that time lapse and I'll catch you guys back after. So in about 10 minutes, I have my capstone presentation. I was supposed to be the first one up, but I gave up my spot to another intern who had a time conflict. I'm kind of excited and also a little bit nervous, so wish me a little bit of luck. This project means a lot to me and I'm confident that it's gonna be impactful for the higher ups and the stakeholders. So yeah, wish me luck. Hopefully my presentation goes well and I'll catch you guys back after. All right, last but certainly not least, we have Vinesh. Hello, Vinesh. So for this capstone presentation, we had a batch of about eight interns spread across various departments and it was amazing to see everyone's projects and impact on the company. During my presentation, I got a lot of questions from the product team and some from the founders or stakeholders. It was pretty cool to hear their thoughts, praise and ideas on how this project could be taken to the next stage. Also, I think now is a great time to announce that I got a full-time offer for my startup to return as a data analyst full-time starting August. Long story short, a couple weeks into my internship, my team decided to push for me to become full-time and shortly after I got an offer. I also got another offer from a larger company for a business insights position, but I decided to accept the offer from my startup to become a full-time data analyst this fall because I think there's a lot of room for me to grow still here and uh, I want to expand with my team and do a lot of cool stuff moving forward. So yeah, I'll be working full-time uh, remotely and also taking classes. Uh, most of my classes are online, so this works out well. I only have one class in person. So yeah, stay tuned for that. It's going to be slightly hectic and a little bit challenging, but I'm confident and I think I'll be able to manage it. I'll try my best to outsource a couple things and manage my time better. But yeah, uh, stay tuned for videos like that. Uh, I'll try and update you guys as frequently as possible. Also, for those of you who are interested in how I transitioned from an intern to a full-time position or uh, just learning a job in general without a degree, uh, let me know down below in the comments and I'll try my best to make a video in the future explaining my thoughts, my suggestions, and how it worked for me. But yeah, it's about 5.30 p.m. right now and my official workday ends at around 6. So I'm gonna spend the remaining time doing a course on Udemy. Our data team recently assigned us uh, some courses to expand our skills and develop professionally. I'm really grateful because I've never had a company who was interested in our professional development as individuals outside of you know the scope of our typical job. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna maximize my output and you know do as much as I can to expand my skills with the company and without. So yeah, that's about it. That's my typical day as a data analyst intern. Soon there's gonna be videos about my typical day as a full-time data analyst while being a full-time student. So hopefully you guys stay tuned for that. I'm gonna go knock out that Udemy course. So if you guys wanna stay tuned and watch that time-lapse, that's great. Otherwise, I wanna thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate your time and I hope this video inspired you, especially for those of you who are like me and are international students. Just keep staying resilient and this is very doable for you too. Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.